Hey guys, Chris the Bull here from Esper Lux, coming to you live from Geneva Watch Days. We're super excited to have Xavier with us here from uh, from Chapek uh, in beautiful Beau Rivage. Xavier, good yes. to see you again. Thank you. In summer in Geneva, beautiful yes. weather. This is yeah. fantastic. How are things going? What's new? So well, every year is different. We have been going to together through the COVID, and now the acceleration on the on the world of watchmaking is incredible. Yeah. Uh, certainly, a counter effect of uh, the fact that people were locked uh, because the love for watchmaking you cannot lock it. Yeah. <laughs> so people have continued to love watches and to look for watches from their from their home from their computer, and this has certainly make that some uh, probably uh, 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 smaller brands or less known brands like Chapek became more known and we're not the only ones. I mean, the world of the independence is booming sure. because people wanted also to have things that were different, that were standing uh, for values that uh, were authentic, that were rare, that were uh, corresponding to these quests mm. of, uh, of rarity, of craftsmanship uh, that is behind. The other effect uh, is the fact that on the secondary market, some independents started to have an incredible valuation of their watches. And we actually had that too. So we had suddenly a watch that we launched and a few days later, or a few weeks later, was flipped, which we don't like, but at the same time, well, at the beginning, you like the surprise yeah. to see that someone is, sword, right? is selling yeah. your watch at four times yeah. the price uh, that was the retail price. But it, it's a limited edition. It's sold out. That's the Antarctic Terra Deli, yep. for example. So uh, that created an effect of a snowball effect, you know, like, sure. a, like an avalanche. And I think uh, this is now in, uh, in the third year that uh, uh, the Geneva Watch Days exist. It's really... Um, a great show because it's a, it's a no show show, yeah. you know, everybody's relaxed, uh, CEOs are joking together, um, everybody's enjoying watchmaking in the way that probably Geneva should always be, which is open doors, yeah. open places, just uh, chatting, looking, uh, comparing, enjoying. This is what totally. uh, watchmaking is all about. It's all about sharing passion. So for us, we had a, a sort of a Radmare wave of orders uh, between 2020, that was the start, yep. 2021, the confirmation, and 2022 was incredible. Yeah. Basically, we, we have been requested to move from making 150 watches a year to making 3,000 watches a year. Hmm. We are not there yet hmm. because we don't, we are okay to grow, but we don't want to grow uh, at the cost of our identity, of, at the cost of our quality, at the cost of our authenticity, at the cost of who you are, you know, what we stand for. So yes, we are growing. The dilemma of successful independence, right? That's, yeah. That's the, yeah. yeah. But you know, it's a dilemma if you, if you are too attracted by money. Oh. If you're not, if you know that the whole story is behind, if you know that uh, long-term cash flows pay more than mid-term or short-term cash flows, just to taking the financial aspect, you know. So Building brand equity really, over time. Exactly. Yeah. That's what Absolutely. a brand is about, yeah. you know. And, uh, and the day you spoil the essence and the soul of a brand, well, you're going you're gonna to spend a lot of money to heat it. Yeah. So you, you should never try to go faster, you know, always the opposite. Keep the control of what's happening. Yeah. So we keep the control, but we make fast move and we make strong move. So last Friday, uh, the Chapek board has unanimously approved that we open a manufacture of manufacturing components. So we have now very moved our atelier of 80 square meter to 335 square meter uh, in La Chaux de Fonds, beautiful, fantastic. fantastic. The nicest room is for the watchmakers. That's what I like. Yeah. They all have a window in front of them to have a view on the trees. Uh, 
And it's really nice, it's really cool, you know. You feel that atmosphere. And watchmakers work better like that. Yeah. And then... H happy watchmakers make yeah. happy watches. Yeah, exactly, and good watches. Yeah. And so, and there is another building next to us, which you are connected to. And we always, it's the same owner, and we always told them, you know, one day maybe we would like to get a piece. And then, actually, three months after starting the rent, we actually are renting, uh, as of 1st of September, another 110 square meter to welcome a, new, a whole set of machines mm. uh, that are going to be able to produce uh, our cases, which is the main Wonderful. component that creates us a problem today. But tomorrow, when there will be another shortage of supply, there will be another production that will be in-house. We don't want to... We don't want to become verticalized. Yeah. No, the idea is independence. We are independent. We believe in that. The idea is that when you want to go fast, you need to be agile. You need to be flexible, forward thinking. And if you have the machine that allows you to do that, then you move on. Yeah. It's the same here. There's really uh, this question of um, being capable, well, keeping the rein of the horse in your hands. You know, and being capable to decide and to be always one step faster yeah. on the on the future. So this is a decision we're making. We're waiting for the bank to say okay say to, yes. this, <laughs> to the to the share that, of what they have to to give on the 1.2 million. We have found a machine that is a fantastic Swiss machine by Bimotech. So now it's a, it's a Neo 191. So it's the latest machine on the market for doing these kind of components. And it's really high tech. So we're really moving forward, you know, jumping ahead always. And speaking of moving forward, we've got uh, some beautiful pieces to look at today, which is the evolution exactly. of the kid about. Exactly. Right? It's the right way. Which is the, which is the piece yeah. that, that I was drawn to when I first Because that I first was the start. The and the start was actually also the uh, uh, 3430, the watch that uh, uh, we bought from... Uh, uh, Sotheby's in 2019, but in 2015, we identified that watch as a watch that could uh, concentrate the culture, the personality of of Chapek and his style. And uh, and this watch was for us the expression of what was Chapek in 1850s. And when we had the initial uh, briefing, we said when we made the initial briefing. We said, we want to jump from past to present, and that was the watch for the present, and from the present to the future, which were the Place Vendôme, and later the Faubourg de Cracovie, later the Antarctic. So it's a, it's a way to conceive things. But then everything is cyclical. Yeah. So we are at the end of one, si one step of the cycle, which is the startup. We are now in the growth phase. It's time to look at the beginning and to uh, rework to bring at an even higher level and to make evolutions on the uh, and this is the beginning and this was the beginning so this is the original in, in a nutshell uh, Geneva style even if there is no Côte de Genève because the Côte de Genève appear way after 1850 in 1850 you only have frosted uh, frosted, frosted yeah, uh, finish made by uh, uh, gold and mercury evaporation but the, the shape of these bridges they are very genuine. And then uh, we take this and we think, okay, what could we do? We know very well from the Faubourg de Cracovie, the uh, escapement, which is the viable inertia escapement that actually went after on our uh, Antarctic, on our rattrapante. So this is uh, the escapement made by our friends from Atocalpa, and we really like it very much. It's very, it's a very precise, reliable, uh, type of escapement, we set it very fast. It's really good. And so the idea was, okay, let's rework the movement. We start from the escapement, eliminate uh, the racketry, the racket, uh, uh, the setting system, change it to a variable inertia with some small uh, uh, pieces of metal that you turn, some mass slot, we say in French. And then you obviously have to change the balance bridge and then we thought, okay, we've got the Antarctic with this open movement that is unique to the world of sport watches. Absolutely. Of, and let's, let's put that into our watch. 
and let's uh, introduce an open work approach to the SX61 uh, by showing, uh, by opening all the bridges, so they have been reopened, and then make a manual anglage to make a beautiful finish on the on the on the watch. Outstanding. And final touch, uh, which is a tribute to uh, to watchmakers of haute horlogerie, we decided to switch from normal rubises to mi glass rubises, which are a bit smaller and uh, and a rounded shape at the top. And it's the best um, type of rubises that you can use on a on a movement. And the Evolved Kibberg is now going to be offered in which sizes and which case sizes. I remember the uh, the previous ones. I think you had a thirty. Okay, that's a good question. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious because now because I'm, I'm curious for myself. I'm going, to, <laughs> I'm going to make a revelation. Okay, you know, there has to be always a reward for the guy who asks the right question. Ah, okay. <laughs> so the reward is that we offer it in the forty-two point five, okay, and in the thirty-eight point five. Aha. Okay. But the reward is that. Next year, you will discover a 40.5. Aha, interesting. Interesting, okay. okay. And so... With the same movement on all with three. With the same movement on all three. Okay. And, and we'll have also a, a new uh, option in 38 millimeter with another movement. Okay. So... And the, are, di the dial options. We are options. building the collection in a, in a way that answers better what collectors are looking for. Sure. Which today is in general beautiful small watch watch pieces. Uh, the large size we keep because this is part of our history. Sure. And in some markets, in the US for example, uh, in some part of Asia, some people have very large wrists mm -hmm. and the 38 millimeter looks ridiculous. Yeah. So you don't want to have only 38 and 40. Sure. You need the 42 it's a 42 millimeter, but you know that people are waiting for, sure. for that, uh, that watch. In terms of dial offering, uh, we start now with the enamel uh, Grand Feu uh, flanqué. flanqué. So it's a, an, a transparent enamel uh, with a hue which is here green, and here is, and the other one is the is a chapek blue. Uh, so we can we can show it, and and behind the transparency. We can discover the Guillaume Ricochet, which is our uh, uh, our hallmark in Guillaume, and we uh, we have stamped it on a plate of um, um, sterling silver, mm -hmm. and using the same process. So the matrix is Guillaume. Then we create the stamp. We stamp with it, and then we put the uh, enamel, and this reduces also the imperfection of the enamel. So the process is is well done this way, but also it's it's a beautiful way to create colors, uh, mixing past and and future, uh, because it's a traditional technique. But these kind of colors are really new, and we're not finished with the colors. So prepare Stay yourself tuned for, some, some for more colors, colors and uh, and more patterns and more uh, uh, variations. Or we'll keep it not going too fast so that people can enjoy every year. Uh, no shortage year. of surprises from you, Xavier, and uh, wonderful stuff. This is absolutely fantastic. It's the watch that really, um, that to me, I was first attracted to, uh, the kid the especially with the, with the flank. I mean, it's just outstanding. Congratulations. Thank you very this much. This is wonderful. It's great to see you yes. again. I'm glad you're doing well. Yeah. I'm glad the brand is doing I'm, well. I'm glad that I'm alive, my friend. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's right. I'm glad I'm alive. Yeah, see but you again. see, the voice has not come back. Yeah. It's part of the new Xavier now. S slowly, it's slowly. Slowly, it's okay. A strange voice. Little by little. And uh, yeah, and more watchmaking adventures to come. Wonderful. Adventures to come. Thanks for joining us, guys. Bye. Stay tuned for the next video.